Hello, my name is Nigel Cox, Senior Horticultural Lecturer at Bridgewater and Taunton College. Earlier in the year, I was talking to you about taking softwood cuttings. Well, now we're at the end of June and a lot of that softwood has started to harden up a bit. And it's an ideal time to take what we call semi-ripe cuttings. Now, semi-ripe cuttings can be taken perfectly at this time of year and they can be taken of a load of different shrubs. And unlike the softwood cuttings earlier in the year, they don't need lots of heat because we've got natural heat around us at this time of the year, although today is not a very great day. So all sorts of shrubs you can take at this time of year. I've just got a few to show you here. Uh, hydrangea, for example, you could take hydrangea. You can see by this stage, the stems have started to become slightly woody. They're not very, very soft and sappy anymore. And therefore they're a bit tougher and perhaps easier to get to root. Um, rosemary, lavender as well. Rosemary is a good one. I'll show you that one in a minute. Box. Um, if you want to make a new box hedge, this is an ideal time to take box. And uh, there's Eliagnus, things like Philadelphus. In fact, most of the shrubs in the garden, it's worth having a try. Now, what do you need for them? Well, you need a pair of secateurs or a pruning knife, a dibber, my trusty dibber, and obviously a label uh, for labeling the pot so you know what's in there. And I use these bamboo labels, which are fully degradable, they biodegradable, so um, they don't pollute the environment like plastic labels. And of course, a pot of compost, a peat-free compost. Um, at this time of year, a multi-purpose compost is fine, although if you've still got some of your seed and cutting compost left, then use that. Now, it's the same basic process as with the softwood cutting, in that we're going to harvest healthy, new growth. This year's growth, but this is the growth that's gone slightly woody. Now you're going to look for growth, when I mean healthy, it's not covered in aphids and it's not got disease, uh, it's not damaged in any way, because what you want is to get lots of healthy plants. Ideally, harvest your cutting material early in the morning, before it gets too hot, because that time the plant is fully what we call turgid, full of water. And in this situation, for example, here with this rosemary, you can see that it's got a series of growths from the original woody stem. Now with a semi-ripe cutting, what you want to do is to take some of the old wood with it and we produce what's called a heel. And in that situation, you pull down on it. And if you can see here, you can see that this has got a piece of the old wood on it. This is the heel. Now this is gonna make it easier to root. I'll just trim that off, just slightly, and then I remove about a third, maybe up to half of the leaves. And then you don't need any hormone powder for this. At this time of year, they'll root very easily. Again, with your dibber, make a hole in the side of the pot, insert your cutting up to the base of the lower, lowest of the leaves that are still there, firm it down, and then carry on through the rest of the pot. Rosemary, I've done that. With something like hydrangea, which has got bigger leaves, you want to remove quite a lot of those leaves uh, and reduce the size of the top leaves. So in this situation, in this case, it hasn't got a heel, but I still will cut below, just below a node. A node is where the leaves join. So I'll take these other leaves off, and in fact, that's probably slightly too long. You don't want a cutting that's more than about five inches long. And in this case, I would remove 50% of the leaves because that stops too much moisture loss. And again, the same thing, dip in and into the hole. There you have it. So we've got a whole series of different types of cuttings, exactly the same with box. Again, pull them down off the stem, Trim the, the little piece of the old wood that's left, remove the leaves, and then plant. Obviously, then you need to label it with your label. And you don't need to cover this with anything. You put it somewhere relatively shaded. You don't want it in bright sunlight. And water it, and then leave it. And then, in a few weeks' time, hopefully you'll see the roots coming out the bottom of the pot. Avoid the temptation of trying to tug at it 
wait till the, you see the roots well formed and then pot on. Now if you found this interesting you can find a lot of my other video tutorials on my YouTube channel. Just search for Nigel Cox and enjoy your gardening.